Hi, I'm Kim Everhart, president of PRSA Detroit. I wanted to just reach out via a video message in lieu of a traditional blog post this time around in a time where we're not really seeing much of each other and obviously don't have in-person events. I thought it might be nice to connect in this way. So hopefully you will indulge me and stick with me for the next couple of minutes. Um, first and foremost, really just want to say to all fellow PRSA Detroit members, um, I have certainly been thinking about all of you over the last um, several months and hope everybody is staying healthy and safe. It goes without saying, it's becoming a cliche at this point, but obviously it's been a really challenging time and I know that so many of you have faced hardship in your own way and just want you to know that um, I hope everybody is staying healthy and safe, both mentally, emotionally, and physically. So um, hope everybody is doing well. I wanted to just provide a quick update on some things that we've been working on over the last several months with PRSA Detroit. Hopefully you've been on that journey with us and also preview uh, some things we still have ahead before the end of 2020. So first and foremost, we really focused early on uh, in the year, uh, really as soon as things kind of started to change via the pandemic, on providing programming that would really re be reflective of the current time and the needs of members. And, and one of the things that I'm really proud of that our chapter has collectively accomplished is the Professional Transition Connect program. So that was specifically focused on and targeted at member members who might be undergoing a professional transition, uh, might have potentially lost a position due to kind of the economic conditions around COVID, or just taking stock in terms of um, the next step and, and next, next chapter of their career evolution. And so what we've done is partnered nonprofit organizations and PRSA Detroit members together uh, to help each other out. So we know that there has been increased need across the spectrum for nonprofit members, and we have connected local nonprofits with PRSA Detroit members to provide an opportunity for members to continue to enhance their skills and make new connections and also um, provide really excellent resources and opportunity for nonprofits to execute additional communications work amid the, the pandemic. So that program has been up and running. If it's a fit for you, um, I really hope you will check it out. And, or if you know somebody who could benefit from that program, really hope that you will go to prsadetroit.org to learn more about that program. We've also continued to provide programming that um, is PRSA is known for. So in an environment that we obviously can't get together and do panels, we like so many other organizations have transitioned to virtual programming and we have uh, executed that um, in a different way. I think the sort of lack of limitations around ge geography have made it a lot easier to collaborate in some, in some cases. And we have had programs with um, other partners from across the state from a PRSA uh, perspective, and we'll continue to collaborate with other statewide organizations. I also would encourage you as part of your PRSA membership, there has been a great series of webinars, um, across the national that provide kind of guidance on evergreen topics as well as uh, topics that are specific to kind of the, the current issues of the day. So would encourage you to leverage that as part of your PRSA membership and check out upcoming uh, webinars from national. Also, we have really committed to and committed really, uh, you know, throughout the time that PRSA has been in existence, we've had a diversity committee for decades, but you know, certainly over the last year have committed to re-engagement and refocus on uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. And we have held uh, in collaboration with IABC Detroit two previous events talking about just diversity, equity, and inclusion and communication and what that looks like. And um, we have another program coming up on October 29th. So I hope you will register for that and participate to continue that conversation. I think it's been so encouraging to see the, the enthusiasm and the participation around these diversity and equity inclusion events and that there certainly um, is an appetite amongst our membership and about around the communications industry at large to have uh, these really important conversations and continue to have dialogue and, and potentially impact meaningful change. So really encourage you to register for that event on the 29th. And then PRSA, we are celebrating our 75th anniversary that you may know, um, but we have a first, which is going to be our first virtual annual meeting event. And that's gonna take place on November 19th 
The great news is you don't have to find parking and you don't have to buy drink tickets. So we hope everybody will pour a glass of their favorite beverage of choice and join us on November 19th for an early evening event uh, to celebrate kind of the year in review and year ahead for PRSA Detroit. And for those of you, many of you have, I'm sure, participated in the annual meeting for years. It's really a, a high point of the year for the chapter. It gives us the opportunity to install new officers. We honor our new APRs. Um, and we also honor kind of iconic and legendary professionals within our community and industry. And so we absolutely encourage you um, to join us for that event on November 19th. So with that, just want to say thank you. Thanks for sticking, sticking with me the last few minutes and um, certainly want to continue to enhance the opportunities um, to make everybody stronger, better, more nimble professionally, and really encourage everyone to lean into your PRSA network during this time. And if you have thoughts on how we can do that more effectively or program ideas, please don't be afraid to share those on social or reach out to me directly. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll talk soon. Hope to see you at the annual meeting. Take care.